And like defensively, what, what positives did you guys take out of Sunday? Um, positives, I think we played the run well. Um, I thought we did some things in the past well, you know, still some, some things we need to be more consistent on. But I thought we showed up and let them know, you know, especially in the first half, stopping the run and being where we're supposed to be in the pass. There was a lot of talk about this new defense and communication. How do you think all that went? I mean, I think it went well, you know. Um, I think we just got to finish. But for the most part, I think, I think we did well. Um, <laughs> just got to finish, yeah. So, Link, how satisfied were you with the way you played us? Um, I wish I would have got some more pass, some more pass, um, really a sack. That would have made me feel a lot better. But um, I think I did well in the run. Um, like I said, just wish I would have uh, took the edge a little more in my pass rushes and got a few more um, pressures. But I think I did okay. How'd you feel about the D line's performance? It seemed like you guys, as a unit, got a lot of pressure. Yeah, I thought we did well, especially um, you know you got Joe Jack getting sacks, you got Miles Garrett and uh, Clowney converging on the sack. Um, and, the middle, and the interior guys were getting pushed. So I thought we did well. Coach Kiffin got us right and gave us a plan. And I think we went out there and executed the plan. Uh, like I said, now we just can't. You know, with, with Patrick Mahomes, you got to kind of be wary of his run. So our pass rushes weren't as uh, committed. But um, I think we're going to get better at that and understand each other and keep working and grinding. Have you seen uh, Malik McDowell mm -hmm. grow since he got here? Uh, Malik McDowell has grown since night and day, man. He's really taken, um, came in, really didn't know nothing, just green, and um, has taken the starting spot really physical, um, knows what he's doing, understanding plays. Now, you know, came in, he was at a one class 101, now he's at class 404. So he's grown fast and um, uh, he's really taking it by the horns. Could you tell that he hadn't played in four years? Could you tell when you first got here? Yeah, you could tell just by the lingo and, um, you know, like I said, asking him stuff. We have to go back to, now, like I said, class 101. Mm -hmm. But he's taking it. He's um, really engaged. He's listening to Coach Kiff and um, our assistant D-line coach, Jay, Coach JG, and really uh, grown now. He's, like I said, class 404 and um, got the first play in the game, you know, so he's really being disruptive. Did you learn something about your old defense and you didn't know? Did I learn something? No. I mean, I know the guys we have. I know what we're capable of. I know what we put in. I know who we are. Um, yeah. I want to ask you about Nick Chubb first, you know, from outside and as an opponent and mm -hmm. now that you're his teammate. Mm -hmm. Just your impressions of that. Um, he's a beast. You know, he comes out here, works hard, doesn't say much, just puts his head down, works hard, wants to know his plays, wants to be great. And I appreciate that. Is it fair to call him a superstar? Yeah. Why not? You know, I think he comes out here, he works hard, um, he's diligent in his job, and he puts in the work on the field on Sunday. So um, I don't see why not. He doesn't say much to us. Does he ever talk in there? Nah, he don't say much. You got to say like three, four sentences to him to get one. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't say much. So yeah. you're used to that? Yeah, just quiet. Just say, what's up, man? And he don't say, like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe if you ask him about that, man, you'll get him going. <laughs> I'll I have to try it. Yeah, you compliment him on his new check, he don't say much. So he's, he's, he's real quiet. Yeah. Faster than he normally does. Is yeah. That, is that frustrating or is that a win for you guys in a way? Nah, yeah. very frustrating. I mean, if you're talking purely defensive linemen, it's very frustrating because you want to, you got to beat the offensive guard to get to the quarterback, and this quarterbacks get that ball and throws it. It's, it's hard, you know, because now you're as a defense lineman, you're thinking about pass rushes to put on your guy. You're thinking about things you just did to kind of change it up, and he's getting it and throwing it. You're kind of not wasting rushes, but you're showing the guy your hand. You know what I'm saying? So, it's hard when you're really trying to get something going on the offensive guard, and the quarterback just catches and throws it because it, uh, you know, it's kind of nullifying your rush, and it makes gets you angry because like a pass rusher like me, I want to get sacks, I want to get quarterback hits, and I want to get pressures, and just getting rid of that rock just takes away that. So it's frustrating. Playing against Tyrod, do you know much about him? Oh yeah, we yeah. played. I played against Tyrod a lot. It's 11th year in the league. Um, very capable quarterback. Um, l can run the ball, but has that arm. You know, I feel like watching him in that first game of the season against Jaguars. He really was show he can throw that ball and be a pocket passer, just escape the pocket and create more time. So I think he's a very uh, good quarterback. We have to make sure we treat him like a Peyton Manning or a Pat Mahomes. Mm -hmm.